Right, the last race of day two is a one mile three uh, race for Phillies at Newmarket. I'll be back tomorrow for the non-Dubai races and Martin Eden will take you through the Dubai race on day three. So the final race of day one, a good pointer for the Oaks later in the season. One is Lion Star, Alex Cherry, two Time in the Sun, Dave Hoody, three is Morse, Paul Rhodes, four Nettleton Hill, Darren Thompson, five Age of the Drunks, Joshua Sutherland, six Avalanche, Obi Wan, seven Idlewise, Patrick Hogan, eight is Mistress of the Balkit, Leon von Rensburg, nine Persuasive Rose, Craig Allen, and ten is Shimna Kamala for Dan Hughes. That's the start, the rain has stopped. And away they go, a good break by most, slightly slow away Avalanche, but Alex Cherry's Lion Star has gone to the front, but is a very reluctant leader and quickly Morse for uh, Paul M Rhodes, picks it up from Age of the Drunks for Joshua Sullivan, in between horses is Time and the Sun for Dave Hoody, on the rail the blue colours is uh, Mistress of the Baltic, Idlevice is out wide of Persuasive Rose, then comes a hard pulling Nettis on Hill, uh, also travelling on the outside is Shimon Miller, that's about uh, six deep, and at the back of the field is a Lion star was an early uh, leader so Morse leads them from eight of the drunks in second three lengths back to time of the sun the gray horse poking his head up on the outside of uh, Avalanche's idle vice on the rail is mistress of the Baltic right out wide is uh, Shimona Camilla the other gray horse in the blue colors in between those two is Nathan Hill for Darren Thompson two lengths black to persuasive rose for Craig Allen and at the back of the field Alex Cherry's line star about ten lengths off this of this leaders is Age of the Drunks and Moors who are challenging each other for the lead at this stage. Moors in the blue colours and uh, red and black stripes with Age of the Drunks for Joshua Sutherland, that one's inside. Then comes Idlevice with Avalanche, that one's inside. Shimona Camilla's going well in between horses. Time and the Sun's trying to move closer. Also trying to get closer is Mistress of the Bulkit and Nettleton Hill. Persuasive Rose behind those and still at the back of the field, Lion Star. Moors has the advantage now from a age of the drunk is trying to move closer. Then comes Time and the Sun. Mistress of the Baltic making a forward move. Out wider, Shimona Camilla and Nettleton Hill are trying to run on. Going backwards is Idle Vice. Persuasive Rose not got going yet. It's Moors in the front from Time and the Sun. Out wide traveling really strong. Is Nettles on Hill trying to get going? He's idle vice also trying to run on is Avalanche, but it's Morse in front from Time in the Sun. Then comes the Nettles Hill, idle vice behind there trying to get going. He's Shimon Camella also trying to run his mistress of the Baltic and Time with the dry edge of the drunk sets. Nettles on Hill to picks it up with a furl left to travel from the Time in the Sun. Nettles on Hill going strongly for Darren Thompson. Yeah, comes Time in the Sun also running strongly in the outside of Shimon Camella. It's Time in the Sun for Dave Hoody. Shimon Camella is finishing very strongly up the outside. Side. Time in the Sun, Shimana Camilla is going to win it for Dan Hughes. And Time in the Sun back in second for Dave Hoody. A good run for 3 for Dave Hoody. An impressive winner, Shimana Camilla. Got going very late and picks it up and that must be a, a Big contender for the Oaks, considering that's a fur and further. Shimona Camella wins it for Dan Hughes. Time in the Sun back in second for um, Dave Hoody. A very good run by Obi Wan's horse. Avalanche back in third. Nettle and Hill for Darren Thompson. Looked to win her with a furlong to go, but then faded out of to finish fourth. Persuasive Rose finished on late for Craig Allen and Mr. The Bulky for Leo Fernandez. Goes back in sixth.